Welcome to my shop. Uh, Bay State Yankee here. Uh, today we're working on a project uh, to build a large temporary easel to hold this sign. Um, I've got this sign that I'm uh, repainting. I've got both sides uh, primed and painted and now I have to letter it. But in order to letter it I need to stand it up on an easel. Uh, typically I do smaller signs and nothing this big so uh, this has to be something I can set up, use temporarily, and then disassemble it when I'm all done and get it out of here. This bay of the garage is the one I use in the winter for my other car. So um, it's beginning of August, but I still have some time. But I need to get this thing done and get it out of here. Um, then I can use the garage again. So I took a trip to the lumber yard and picked up some 14 foot long two by fours. Uh, that's not really what I wanted. I wanted 12s, but they were all sold out. So I got 14 footers and I'm going to use them to um, push up into the attic of the garage and uh, attach them to the trusses up there. And those will be my two legs. Then I'll form a, uh, a base for the sign going across like a shelf and then some brackets to hold the sign against the, the two legs and it might be a little bit shaky but uh, it's only going to be used this one time and then like I said disassembled so I didn't want to spend a ton of money on doing this. Um, so anyway uh, we'll get some measurements of actual measurements of the sign itself we'll get the lumber unloaded and we can get get to work. And here's the lumber. Um, didn't have a truck, so I just stabbed them out the back window and drove home with them. It worked, so here they are. Now on the measurements, um, I'm using a, a straight ruler rather than a uh, tape measure. I get a pretty good, pretty good feel for it. Um, the height of the sign because it goes back, you know, side to side. The height of the sign is 38 inches, um, but the width is about 62. So um, I want to make sure my legs are wide enough to hold the weight, but then with a little bit of overhang. So you can see where I'm going to put the um, the two by four legs up into the rafters there, right up in front of those signs. So we'll get these things unloaded and I'll just spear them up in there, see if I can do it without doing any damage. So it's just simple. You don't really, you don't really need a, a license to do this. It's just, you get the board up there and you find a good spot where you can secure it to the rafters. Um, but you want to have the right pitch on it too. You don't want it sticking out too far, too much of an angle. And um, I was kind of too close to the eaves with that. The roof was stopping me from getting it as far up as I wanted. So I had to reposition it. Um, here I'm pulling it back down again. I'm moving it over a couple feet, and this seems to work a lot better. I can get I can get the angle I want. My goal here is to once I have the sign up, is to have a walking space behind the rack, so I can access the tool you know the tool bench and materials over there. And again, it'll only be up here for a week or two, so. I get a better measurement on where these legs are going to be. And it's a little too close.
and this looks like a little better. Um, I didn't want the, the whole thing tipping one side to the other once I had it on there, but um, of course the, the shelf that goes across the whole design itself will be nailed on. I'm using a, a three inch galvanized framing nail and the only reason I'm using the galvanized nails are because when I went into the basement for the nails that was the first one I saw, so that's why I'm using it. And that's where they'll be attached in the, in the upper sections. This makes me happy that I never sheetrock the ceiling. I can access that space when I need it. And then we're just going to put one nail in each leg just to hold it from slipping. It really won't bear any weight. Okay, there you go. I've got the two uh, legs attached to the trusses. Uh, that'll hold them in place up there. Now uh, the next task is to uh, create the shelf for the sign. I'm measuring up from the floor about three feet. Um, put a mark here. And that's where I'll put my brackets for the shelf. You want it to be level. It makes it a lot easier when you're, when you're painting a sign if you know that the shelf is level. I've got both sides marked. And here I'm attaching the brackets for the shelf. And I just cut four small pieces of 2 by 4 pre-drilled them. And I'm going to put uh, two on each side. I'll double them up. And that will that will give me ample support for the, um, the shelf. Later I could just take a crowbar and just pull these off. And then reuse the 14-footer with no nails in it. So again, I pre-drilled them because, I, as you know, you can't pound a nail to a small stick of wood like that without cracking it. I sandwich them together and secure it. Now I'm going to put the 2x4 shelf on. Um, I pre-cut the 2x4 to be a little bit longer than the sign itself. And I'm going to get it on here and I'm going to center it pretty much. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I just want the same amount of overhang on both sides. The sign itself weighs between 40 and 50 pounds, so each leg is going to have to support about 25 pounds of weight. So I think this is going to be 
far more sturdy than it has to be. But and then I'll just take uh, one nail and secure it into each leg, so that the shelf won't be slipping around. And just a quick, quick measurement here. And that looks good. And off camera I put the nail in the other leg. Uh, didn't move the camera, sorry about that. But, um, my camera guy's off for the day. So now we've got the uh, the shelf secure. Now I'm going to take these uh, slats that I've cut to the same length as the shelf itself. I've got three slats and I have um, we're going to mark the basic overhang amount and they don't have to be exact but just as long as they're close because uh, I've got three or four inches extra on each side so and then I'll make a measurement of how high up the leg the actual sign goes so I know what my upper slat will be and then I just kind of eyeball where I want to put them I'm double checking my height on the sign get these out of the way and here I'm, I'm making a, a mark for my upper piece to go across this holds the sign away from the leg so if you paint one side then turn it over you're not scratching off the paint or you know it's just sanding proud of the legs now I'm attaching these with just a two inch nail uh, like a box nail so it's it's really not going to take any weight you know it's just going to have the sign leaning against it and it uh, gives more support to the legs you know so you don't get twisting or um, there's still going to be some flex in these because of the, the distance between the floor and the truss is 10 feet so you're going to get some flex, but I'm not really going to be leaning on it. I'm only going to be using a, like a paintbrush on it, so I can deal with that, you know, with that amount of flex. Um, but if, you know, if you are doing something different um, other than painting, you'd probably want to have, you know, some sort of leg in the back to uh, brace it up. But again, it's temporary. You know, a couple weeks it'll be gone. So, so there I've got my three cross pieces on and a shelf. So here you can see the finished easel. I've got the legs up into the ceiling. You see the brackets and then the shelf and then the three sticks going across. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that sign and get it around here and get it up onto the easel. So you'll see how that works. The paint on this is dry, but it's still soft. It's only been a couple days since I uh, coated it. And it's very humid today, so it's uh, lettering it today is totally out of the question. But we'll get it up here, and the, the paint will continue to harden. And there you go. 
That's a high gloss Rust Oleum I used. I haven't painted the actual framework yet. Uh, that will get done once I do the lettering. Uh, I have to come up with an idea on how to uh, do that because it's both sides. So I probably won't do it on the easel, but. And that's how you build an easel. Fast and furious. I would guess that this uh, setup would probably hold a lot more weight than what this one sign weighs, but it's really hard to gauge. But, uh, you know, you could always do, if you had something really heavy, you could do three legs. And, and then here's a view on the back. You can see I can still access the bench. And then there's the sign just sitting there. So I haven't really lost any space in the shop. I, you know, I can still work around it. Um, that's my workbench and paint area. Normally I work on signs that are a lot smaller. As you can see here, um, these all can be done on a bench or on a desk. Um, I can do that inside. It's not a big deal, but uh, this one particular project required uh, the easel. I prefer to work flat on the table. You know, it seems to work better for me. Well, that's about it. So thanks for watching. And you can check out my other videos on YouTube under Bay State Yankee. Um, please consider subscribing and have a great day. Thank you.